hello and welcome and then in this video we'll be uh, studying about the for loop so what is a for loop it is, it is basically an iteration which means it is a repetition of a particular process until and unless there's no more action to be taken so as mentioned here a for loop is a control flow of statement which allows code to be executed repeatedly it means it, it will keep on executing the uh, statement until there's an end so i'll uh, give uh, i'll take an example here suppose you want to uh, print the numbers uh, from 0 to 10 so what will you do you won't be writing it as print 1 print uh, 0 print 1 print 2 print 3 print 4 that will be a, a huge waste of time and resources so what we have is the what we use in, in case of such scenarios a for loop so I, i'll uh, give you an example of that and later on explain how does it work here so for i in range mm, 10 i want to print uh, numbers from 0 to 10 so i'll i'm taking the uh, uh, integer here as 10 so i'll print i so what this that i'll execute it and i'll show you what it actually how how does it actually work so i'll execute it by i'll run this code so as you can see it it uh, printed the numbers from 0 to uh, between from 0 to 9 it did not include 10 here because uh, the indexing indexing in python is starts from 0 so it won't be considering the number 10 here but in case if you want to print a number from 0 to 10 then i would recommend that you take the number next to it so uh, which comes next to number 10 so 11 so it printed out from 0 to 10 so what it does is i'm i'm uh, initially it's, uh, there's no initial uh, number uh, mentioned here the end number is 11 so by default it will take 0 as the starting point and 11 is the ending point here so what will what it will do is it will take the 0 it will load it in i and then it will print the number so what next it will take 1 it will load it in i and it will print the number which is loaded in i so it will keep on doing this until and unless there is no number left here which you can it can load it in i so the loop ends there when there's no more number left so this one this was an example of uh, number from 0 to 11 but what if i want to print a number from from between some digits suppose i want to print from 40 to 50 so i'll show an example of that so here for i in range range i'll mention the starting point here so i want it from 40 to 50 so 40 and now the ending point 50 one uh, i'm writing here 51 because uh, i need to mention the number which comes after the one which i want to print so uh, i'll print here print i okay so i'll uh, i'll execute it and yeah so it printed a number from 40 to 50 so similarly uh, according uh, as similar to the previous example I, which i took here but the in its starting number is 40 so it will take 40 it will load it in i and it will print it it will take 41 load it in i and print the number until and unless there is an end to it which is the 50, 50 so this was an example of uh, in terms of digits here but what if i want i have a list and i want to uh, print each and every item of the list iteratively so i have an example here of a list which is a country's example uh, if in case if you do not know the list here yeah, uh, there's a there's another video for the list uh, i recommend that you check it out before you start with this uh, this part of the tutorial so so i'll use a for loop here i want to print each and every value of a list from i want to print usa then i want to print china then germany india and so on so i'll take uh, i'll instead of uh, printing it each and every item again and again i will be using a for loop to to do it quickly for so for a country i'll take an, i'll take the variable as country here instead of an i so as to keep it uh, uh, relevant i mean uh, not relevant but related to the topic so for country three in country so instead of 
taking the range i am taking the name of the list so the name of the list here is the country so i am taking the list so i'll just execute it and, and i'll explain it to you for and i will print here countries country yeah i'll i'll take this country and i'll load it here so i'll print it here and i'll execute it so uh, uh, it is giving me an output of usa china germany india the contents of the items of the list so what it does is this is the countries so this is the countries here these are the countries i'm loading it in a variable countries uh, for, so it will start from the usa it will take the item usa it will load it in country and it will print it out so then it will take china so it, it is an iteration it is a repetition of a process so this was an example of a list uh, now what if uh, i there's a okay so i i had a list here which was already filled and i want but what if i want to fill an empty list so i don't want to uh, so i don't want to as we uh, checked it out in the tutorial of the list list tuples and set uh, so uh, what we did was we were appending items to a list again and again but uh, i i don't want to append take one item append it then i want to take another item and i want to append it. that will be a huge chunk of code which will be obviously it will take memory and it will take time and our resources so we will be simply using a for loop so i want to load the numbers from 0 to 10 in an empty list so i want to load numbers from 0 to 10 so first i will have to create an empty list empty list okay so this is an empty list so now i'll for i'll be using the for loop for i in range i'll be using the range here because i'm dealing with digits and i want to print numbers from 0 to 10 here so i'll take 11 here instead of 10 because it is uh, the indexing in python starts from 0 so now i will uh, my list my list dot append as we checked it in the previous tutorial to, in order to add values uh, to a list we use the append function here so append i so okay so it will now after the the iteration is over i will like to print out the list so print my list okay so i will just underscore here okay so as you can see uh, it is uh, it printed out the value from 0 to 10 it loaded all the uh, all the values from 0 to 11 into a list and it, it printed out the list but the short there, there is a simple and a one line shortcut to that uh, i don't want to write the append function uh, and i don't want to write this whole uh, chunk of uh, this big chunk of code here again so there's a concept called as list comprehension a list comprehension is just a single line code to to load values inside a list so i'll give an i'll give you an example and you'll be able to better understand with that so i'll take an example here uh, my list and my list equals to n for n in range 11 so what it does is instead of uh, appending everything again and again it, uh, the the value the it, the value inside this it, is, it starts from zero so it will take zero it will give it to this end and it, it will append automatically in, inside the list so I, uh, once i execute the code you will be able to see it my list okay so i'll give a printout so, uh, okay so it was it was similar to this previous code yeah. the output is pretty similar to the previous code but I, I was able to do it in just a single line of code so this is this was an example simple example of a list compre uh, list comprehension I am printing a same simple number but what if I want to uh, take multiplication of the same number so I will take an example here so as to uh, help you better understand with the concept so I will take and multiply by an which is uh, basically square but i'm multiplying the same number again and again mm, so i will uh, you will understand when i execute it okay i'll execute the code here so it printed out the square because i'm taking each and every number then multiplying it and then storing it inside a list 
so it, it is saving a good amount of time here this was the simple example of list comprehension so now i'll take a similar example with a dictionary here there are two lists here country and countries and their capitals so what i want to do is i want to take the country uh, as as we uh, made a key value pair in the previous i would recommend that you guys watch the the tutorial about the dictionary here before you proceed with this because that is the foundation and uh, i okay so we'll start here i want to take the country the item in the country as the key and the capital here as the value of the dictionary so i i don't know i, I will you i'll be using a for loop here so as to club them together so i'll give an example here but before clubbing them together we need to have an empty dictionary where we'll be loading a file where we'll be loading the items so country no countries capital i'll be naming the variable as countries cap i'll be naming the dictionary as countries capitals here okay so i'll start the for loop here for for country capital and zip countries comma capitals i'm getting in a red line here because i haven't commented out this part of the code here so once i comment this out the error goes away so now what i'll do is simple simply as it uh, i will uh, draw a key value pair here so country countries capitals and now the key which is a country here and the capital here which is the value so it will take the key this country is the one value from the country and the another value from the capitals it will load in country and capital and this country the value here will be loaded here the value in this capital will be loaded here and it will, it will append it in a dictionary here so now after now after the outside of the for loop i'll be printing the dictionary name and this capital and i'll execute this okay so as you can see uh, you can get a key value pair of countries and countries and their capitals here so similarly as we saw uh, the example of list i don't want to add the, this whole bunch of code here so similar to list comprehension there's an example there's a example or there's a shortcut shortcut called a dictionary comprehension here that is just a, a simple one line code which will do this whole process uh, pretty much quickly so i'll first create an oh, okay i'll comment this out i created an empty dictionary here and now i start to load the files using the follow so countries capital equals to dear country capital for country country common capital in zip as you as in the previous example here we use the zip to club together the two lists so yeah similarly i'm using it here countries comma capitals okay okay so oh this uh, there's an error because i'm uh, making a dictionary here and i instead of uh, using the curly braces i'm using the round braces so i'll just change that in order to get a proper output here okay so now the error is uh, the red lines from the code has been removed now i'll print the dictionary here so okay so as you can see it is the, the output is pretty similar as we saw in the previous one but we were able to achieve this output in, in just a single line of code here so this was the example of dictionary comprehension so i'll give you a brief uh, summary of what we did in this uh, tutorial 
uh, as we started with the for loop we learned learned the list uh, uh, the iterating the for uh, the list using for loop and the list comprehension and the dictionary comprehension so uh, this was enough for to, uh, for this tutorial so in case if you like the video please click on the thumbs up and subscribe thank you